Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. Now I have the pleasure to be joined by a successful Lely Butterjig. Change of scenery from Monday, mate. Another good six rounds, dropped him twice. How's that for you? Yeah, definitely. I'm buzzing. I thought good performance, showcased my skills a bit in there. I uh, had fun. So, yeah, uh, very happy with that. Definitely. Talk to me about the two knockdowns. I mean, one was a, I think a good right hand uh, to his head, sent, it, sent him on his ass. But then the body shot, that was a that was a peach, that one, mate. Which yeah. one was your favourite out of two? Uh, I'll probably say left hook. I just literally dropped a left hook to the body and followed it up uh, to the head. It just came. So, yeah, very happy with that. Definitely. Matty Lawless providing the water there. Thank you very much, Matty. I mean, talk to me. Obviously, a big crowd in there tonight. Closest they've probably ever been to you in in an arena. I think Al, Al gave you a bit of a talking to in between one of the rounds. But how was it kind of dealing with the crowd? Obviously, they're loud anyway on a normal fight night, but compact in there tonight. How was it dealing with them? Uh, to be honest, I got carried away a bit. I started showboating a bit too much. But yeah, I get, got carried away at the crowd. I was buzzing. The crowd gets me going. But Al told me off and I go back to the corner. Give me a little slap yourself that hurt me and woke me up. But yeah, uh, I'm very happy with that. Definitely, I think it woke you up because that was the round after that. I think you you landed the body shot that dropped him. I think so. So so it, so it definitely worked. Shout out Al Smith. I would just let me know, like not to get too carried away and just to stay composed and keep my head on my shoulders and not get distracted by the crowd. Definitely as well. Obviously, we were talking about on Monday lately. You're one of the one of, if not the most active prospects in the country now. It's easy to say you want to have another one, another one quick. But what what's the plan next? Is it a rest and then go again towards the end of the year? Uh, yeah, definitely a little rest and then go again towards the end of the year. I've literally been camp to camp, uh, six fights straight off in less than a year. So uh, I want to give my body a little rest, not too long, maybe a week or two, and then get back in the gym, take off, and ready to go again. Definitely. Do you think you'll be able to take a break from skipping for too long? No, definitely not. I need to skip to keep my weight down. Definitely, mate. As well, Lely, I mean, breeze through my questions, mate. I don't want to keep you too long. I know you've got a few more media. Any final words for the uh, for the fans, kind of? Actually, no, one more question. Change of opponent, last minute as well. Easy to deal with? Well, to be honest, I was expecting Kane Morgan to come and put the pressure on. Uh, you know, him, he was more of on the back foot. I thought Kane would come with the pressure, but, you know, Kane, Kane bottled it, uh, fight week and pulled out. So, he's irrelevant now. We don't, I don't care about him. Definitely, definitely. We'll leave that in the past as well. Now I'll give you the final words. I'm going to give you the mic, Lely. Any final words for the fans watching at home or watching in the arena tonight? Uh, thank you to all, everyone that came and supported me. It, literally, it means a lot. And uh, we're going to keep pushing on and we're going all the way to the top. We're going all the way to the top. And make sure you watch the journey so far. The interview that I've done with Lely at the beginning of the week. Lely, congratulations, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers.